Hey, uh, along with that, uh, you have your little Bible here. I and, do. Uh, I do. It's nice. Little NIV. I have my ESV. And a question here that we got a bunch of is, which Bible translation is the best and what's the difference? So I also, I, had to, I was the one that actually read through the 600 questions we got over the internet and uh, had to sort through them and there were some angry questions in there. So one person asked this question, uh, which Bible translation do you use and why are the other ones awful? <laughs> okay. Well, that kind of assumes some things about my beliefs about other Bible translations which aren't true. I mean, the reality is, as English speakers, we have access to a whole lot of great translations of the Bible. It's not that the ones we don't use are awful. It's that we just have access to a whole lot of really good ones, and to the extent that it's almost a problem. So you, you, parents, uh, um, adults going, well, man, what, what Bible should I get? I mean, if you stop and think about that, most of the world, the question is, where can I get a Bible? Or, you know, when are they going to finish translating the Bible into my language? Here, it's, which Bible should I get? Literally, three times in the last month, I've dealt with this question. Teenagers going, which Bible should I get? Or what should I, or a parent saying, what should I get for my teenager? So, I would say that we have lots of great Bible translations. So, so what's the difference in which one is the best? Well, I have to explain the difference between before I get to the best part. Basically, there's three types of Bibles out there. You have word-for-word -word translations, where they take the Greek and the Hebrew, and they just, as best as possible, try and go word-for-word -word into English. And so, obviously, with kind of figures of speech, they have to make some differences. Otherwise, it would just be complete, total nonsense. We'd read it and go, what? Because it would be a metaphor that doesn't make any sense in our culture. But so, as best as possible, they go word for word, all through the text, best as they can, accurate to the word. And that would be like the NASB, New American Standard, the ESV, the one that Bobby preaches from, King James was that, New King James Version tries to be that. So very much, we're going to try and go word for word. So that's, that's one type. Another type is the thought for thought. Instead of going each word, it's going through each thought of the Bible and going, how can we best kind of like translate this into this thought into English? How does this thought translate into English? And so when you do that, you get a much more readable uh, Bible translation. It's a lot smoother to read because it's put very much the way we structure sentences, the way we structure thoughts. And so it's easier to read, but it's less accurate to the original language. And so that's where you get uh, like the New Living Translation or the Living Bible. They took the thoughts of the Bible and they translated the thoughts into the Bible. And so you think, okay, so where does the NIV? The NIV is the most popular English translation. There's the most copies of it out there. So the NIV basically tries to be a mix between these two. So it tries to be, have word for word, but at the same time it tries to have the thought for thought and the readability. So it tries to be between the two. It's kind of where the NIV kind of sits. The third type is a paraphrase, where someone takes the Bible and they go, all right, how do we put this in our own language? How do we take the Bible and make it the way that we actually talk today? And that's what the, uh, the message is, the message translation or the message paraphrase. It's trying to put it in our language, and I, it's not my language because I think it, the message is really hokey. Bobby likes it. We've actually had this discussion in our yeah. office like, man, I don't like the message. He's like, I like the message. Okay. That's because I'm hokey. Yeah, that's, that's true. And I'm not hokey, I, I guess, or I'm a different kind of hokey. So, but that's a paraphrase. And so then the question is, what is the best version of the Bible? What's the best translation? Well, I think best relates to what you're trying to do or who you're giving it to. I mean, I can give a really great English translation to someone that doesn't speak English, and that is not a good translation for them. Or a, a great example of this is the King James Version, great translation of the Bible into English 400 years ago. Well, if you read the Bible, or King James Version today, there are 100 words in the King James Version of the Bible that aren't words anymore. So if you're reading it, and you go, or that th the meaning has changed. So you read it today, and it's not as great of a translation as it was 400 years ago, because the English language has changed since then. I mean, it was great at the time, and it's still really good, but for most of us, as we read it, we have to retranslate it. And so what's the best? Well, for... Deep study, you want a word-for-word -word translation. Or for preaching, word-for-word, -word because you're really trying to study and what does the text mean. And that's why we use the ESV. It's a little bit more readable. 
than the New American Standard Bible. When I was in Bible college, we only studied and did book studies in the NASB because it was most literal, accurate, word for word, so great for doing deep, deep study. So deep study, preaching, word for word Bible, ESV, NASB. If you're just kind of like going to read through the Bible real fast, uh, which, you know, if you're trying to read through the Bible in a year, uh, whenever I'm kind of like, some days I'll do a prayer and planning and I'll just go, I'm going to read through this book of the Bible. I normally go with the uh, New Living Translation just because it's more readable. And for like just going through big chunks, that's what I prefer. For deep study, uh, ESV. Anything to add on that? No, no, I think that's very good. Uh, now, I noticed you usually use the Teenage Girl Study Bible. Y yes, or I the, do. Or I the do. Fuzzy Bunny Study Bible yes, in Children's yes. Version. Okay. Yeah, that's my preferred because uh, it makes me feel warm and fuzzy good. inside. Right. 